Listen up, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, YouTube and Facebook world. Are you ready to have coffee with Glenda and friends? Let's go. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It's still the best. And welcome to this year's edition of the Black Heritage Art Show and to our first session of Coffee With. My name is Glenda Boone. I am the CEO and founder of O Taste and C Marketing and Productions and the creator and founder of the Black Heritage Art Show Virtual Style. I want to thank you all for taking the time to join me this morning. Thank you, YouTube world and Facebook world. And I will not disappoint as I have a great guest with me today who's co-hosting. She is probably one of the best people I know in this world because she is my mama. And her name is Betty Merritt, and she is here to promote and tell us a little bit about something that is very passionate, um, a part of her life. She is the founder of the Otis Merritt Jr. Foundation. And while I can talk about her all day long, I'm going to introduce her to you, world, and let her tell you a little bit about herself briefly, Ma, and tell us about her cause and the Otis Merritt Jr. Foundation. So without further ado, I introduce you to Betty Merritt. Betty? Good morning, Glenda. Good morning. It's such an honor to be here today. <laughs> I am so excited about my passion of aiding at-risk and deprived youth and children by way of the oldest merit junior foundation charity we are a 5013c non-for-profit charity organization and we're also listed in on the maryland state website as a charity here in baltimore so tell us a little bit betty about what the goals are um of the foundation what what it, what do you all want to accomplish our main focus right now is on education, mm -hmm. being that the pandemic has just wiped out the traditional mode of education. It's more focused on homeschooling, on technology, and a lot of the underserved, deprived population, a lot of them don't even have the equipment computers, uh, portable internet hotspots in the home for homeschooling, both the caretakers and the youth and children are at a disadvantage because they are trying to learn how to navigate the new system. Mm -hmm. Our mission is to try and help them uh, with some of that and one of the, our goals is to provide Chromebook, Chromebook computers into a selected amount of individuals within these homes. Uh, the plan is to do a needs assessment with individuals. We're working now with um, the HUD housing and uh, out of the mayor's office to try and come, come together with a plan as to how we can best help meet these children's needs. Wonderful. Now, do you all pretty much operate just in the Baltimore area or the Maryland area right now? Like, how are you, who are you helping? Right now, our number one focus is Baltimore City. Mm -hmm. Baltimore City public housing units. I've reached out to someone at Latrobe Homes. Well, that's good. That's really, really, really good, Betty. And so how can we help your cause? The community can help our cause by way of donating. Mm -hmm. any, amount, mm -hmm. any amount is appreciated. Um, we do have a preference of the funneling of donations and that's through the Gifley Five. Okay, and can you tell me what um, the Ghibli address is and we'll put it up so 
if people want to donate. And we'll also put it in the description box um, below so that you will have it. Um, I think this is a wonderful cause. Betty, can you also share for us how you got the name? The Otis, what what does the Otis Merritt, how did you get the name Otis Merritt Jr. Foundation? Well, the name came from your father. Mm -hmm. It resonated in my mind after he passed. His number one focus was children and youth in Baltimore City in the neighborhood of the Rokeby Road. <laughs> he became the mayor of Rokeby <laughs> Road. His motto was, and I used to question him sometimes because we had children in and out of the house and mm -hmm. Y'all would invite friends and they all was welcome. And I sometimes I would say, I don't feel like cooking for all those children. He says, Bedlu, never neglect a child. Wow. And the idea of the foundation, he would all he would look at his five children and he would say, This is my foundation. Oh, that's wonderful, Betty. And so, I mean, I do know that. And I'm trying to be professional audience because that is my mama. Um, but I remember very vividly uh, everything that you're saying. Um, our house was like, uh, it was like a camp. It was like a babysitter, but it wasn't just our house. Um, in those days, the neighborhood was the village. So um, the mothers and the fathers, they became your surrogate mothers and fathers. And um, because my parents worked, um, my father worked day shift, my mother worked night shift. So our house became like a central point for the neighborhood because they knew somebody grown was going to be home. Um, and so I vividly remember that. I appreciate that. I, I thoroughly support your cause. And I also want to say that if an 82 young year woman can make a difference, then I know that we can make a difference. And so we hope that you will support her cause. You can find out more information at the Otis Merritt Jr. Charity.org. And I'm going to put that information in the description um, as well as a donation button so that you all can support her. Once again, Betty, thank you so much for joining us on Coffee With. And we wish you the best of luck in the future. Thank you for having me, my baby. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>